Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the installation of the Iberia rack today and the pedal assist. I uh, know a lot of people have bought this aftermarket uh, rack and some say it's uh, too high when they install it. I'm going to show you how I installed it and uh, have it nice and low to the fender so you can still get your legs over with it not being a step through. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so with the uh, Ibera rack, I, uh, it comes with uh, an extension leg, which I didn't use at all. And these three holes, I drilled through the middle one. And uh, I used that to set the rack using that one, that screw hole. Um, I know on the uh, Rad Mini step through, I think I used uh, this one even uh, to put it on. And another thing with the uh, regular Rad Mini, you don't need an extension cable for the uh, brake light. But with the Rad Mini step through, you need to buy the extension cable for the brake light. Um, so yeah, I just used the rack by itself. No extension legs. Uh, these holes, three holes, don't go all the way through. Uh, so I drilled through this uh, hole all the way through to make a area where I can put the screw through. Now I did have to buy a longer screw. I can't remember what size the screw is. But it had to be a little bit longer to make it through. So this is a closer look how I set it up. Uh, this is for the rad rear rack, I assume. This screw hole here, but it uh, kept the rack too high and I couldn't get my leg over. So I drilled through the middle hole of the bracket and screwed through the uh, this derailleur arm. I really like this Iberia rack. I like the uh, the way things uh, clip on and off of it. I have the uh, side saddle bags as well as the top bag as well. I really like it and it's a, a lot cheaper than the red rack. This is the Iberia bag that goes on the top. I like the way it goes on. It just slips on and clips down like that and it's in has little uh, side saddle bags that you can clip onto the rack. Yeah, I think it's a really handy rack. I like it better than the uh, actual rad rack. Now moving on to the pedal assist. Uh, my pedal assist sensor uh, broke or got damaged somehow. I know a lot of people have problems with the magnets falling out or the actual disc cracking on them and falling off or uh, the sensor getting uh, moved out of position. Um, so I went online and searched different things and I found uh, this type of pedal assist, which is an all-in-one unit, which I think is way better than the, uh, the rad one with the ceramic... Uh, the ceramic disc and the sensor being separate where this is an all-in-one unit and it just slides on and uh, when your pedals turn the 12 magnet sensors are inside I think this is a much better uh, product having everything inside especially if you're going uh, off-road and in the dirt and so on or even water whatever that uh, this isn't going to get damaged because everything's internal. The pedal assist actually goes on the opposite side of what it does from the rad bike. So I actually just left the metal bracket there, took the sensor and disc off, and attached this on the other side, and you just have to remove the uh, crank arm and pull that off and put it on. I'll show you what that looks like. So if you can see it, I don't know if I need to turn the bike upside down or not, but that right there is the pedal assist. Nice and out of the way. No big ceramic disc hanging out, no magnets hanging out. Everything's internal. I really like the uh, way that's set up. All right, so to get this crank arm off, I need a number eight Allen wrench, Allen key. To remove this.
and you take this crank removal tool and you put this piece in here and you put the wrench on screw that in wrench. Just keep cranking on this. There we go. So the pedal assist is already on there. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to take it on and off. It just slides right on like that. So those plastic clips just uh, go in there and everything lines up with those notches here. And I think that's super simple and easy that you just uh, have to push it on. And it's done. Simple as that. No making sure the sensor is five millimeters apart or anything else. You just slide it on, you're done. So when you put your pedal on, make sure it's opposite of the other one. And then when you put this bolt back in, it'll suck the pedal back down. that's it simple as that all right i hope that helped with uh, anybody if they're having problems with the ibira rack or uh, the pedal assist even i really like that pedal assist and it's only like uh, three dollars more uh, on amazon than it is than the uh, ceramic pedal assist thing which i think is garbage in my opinion uh, so yeah that's it for this week's video Hope you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, whatever, and we'll see you next time.